was a strong signal from on high. An historic day for millions of women and their families here in Saudi Arabia. Women finally being given the green light to drive. I'm very happy that this was issued and uh, I look forward to driving. The move came by royal decree from King Salman, but this had the fingerprints of his son, the crown prince, and his vision 2030 all over it. That plan for Mohammed bin Salman is designed to reduce Saudi Arabia's dependence on oil, create non-oil jobs, and boost economic growth. I think we realize that the transition will, will set you back initially a little bit. And the old adage, adage, no pain, no gain, is very much at play. Anybody who thought that this is just a switch that will throw open is, has been misled. Uh, and I think the Saudi population is ready for the long haul. The biggest effort of them all, a 5% flotation of the state oil giant Saudi Aramco, which bank advisors say is still on track for the second half of 2018, despite market rumblings to the contrary. But it's the near-term targets through 2020 that may need to be adjusted. 1.2 million new jobs from the private sector. Right now, the economy is averaging less than 20,000 per annum outside of government. Double-digit unemployment down to 9% or lower and reigniting growth. The projections are for the economy to flatline in 2017. I don't care particularly if some of the, uh, the targets and the timelines slip. They were always ambitious. You need to drive people faster than they can go. There's been overwhelming support from global business and government leaders, especially from U.S. President Donald Trump. More recently, King Salman made a high-profile pivot to Russia to meet with President Vladimir Putin. They signed a series of joint agreements that will in part help Saudi Arabia with its economic overhaul. Many want to see the hard-driving crown prince succeed which in turn helps boost demand for U.S. and Russian companies. But getting from here to the finish line will indeed be full of challenges. John Defterius, CNN Money, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia.